situation with those uh, national programs and trying to make sure that we can prevent bias. Um, we're gonna, so the information that's in here for emergency preparedness, that's not really our, our specialty as far as um, all of this goes. We really do the crime prevention piece but we do partner with emergency bureaus and whatnot. So um, there's a Portland Bureau of Emergency um, Management, which is PBEM, and there's like net teams. Do you guys have a net in your area? Do you guys know? Probably not, probably a lot <laughs> That's a neighborhood emergency team? Uh, and they're volunteers, they get trained on how to do all this stuff. So one thing that is important to know uh, is you guys do have a beacon here at Ventura Park. Beacon is for the, um, Huh? For the earth, for earthquakes. If there's a huge earthquake that happens, this is a meeting location. So you have emergency personnel that come here. They have like the good radios that work and communicate with emergency personnel. Um, they'll often bring like food, water, and small resources to help the residents that live around the area. Ventura Park is a beacon. So um, getting to know exactly where that um, location is, it even says on the cross street. So it's on the very last page. It tells you where it's at on Ventura Park. So it's on Southeast Stark Street and 117. And so that's, yep, that's gonna be right up there. And so that's where the beacon is. So if there's a large earthquake, a lot of people don't realize that if there's a huge like, by, like hazard as far as weather conditions go, the person that's gonna save them is gonna be their neighbor. It's less likely to be the emergency personnel. Um, and so it's good to get to know who's around here. And if you guys live around the park, getting to know who actually lives around the park, can we walk together, can we do those types of things? Um, so the questionnaires that we collected from you guys, we're gonna make you guys a block map, and a block map with, with parks. Parks are also not just people who live by the park, but frequenters of the park. If you guys all live next to the park, or did some of you guys are just frequenters? You all live here pretty much or around here? Yeah, does anybody here not live around or close to the park? Right here? Quick. Yeah. So we live around the park, but her dad broke his foot so he couldn't capture, she came hmm. for him. Uh -huh. Can he fax the sheet in? Um, so all you have to do when additional people want to join at any point in time, we're going to give your organizer more packets and information. Any new people who want to join your watch that you guys approve of, all you have to do is fill out the questionnaire and give it to your organizer. Okay. We're going to make you guys a starting point Excel sheet that has all of your information in there and it's a starting block map. And you guys can either determine that into an actual map map where you put the information or it can just be a contact sheet with like a phone tree or however you want to do that. You would just give that to your organizer and um, they can be added right into that anytime you guys want moving forward. If you have a lot of people that are showing interest and you want to do an additional training, maybe we'll do it a little bit earlier since it gets dark. <laughs> um, we can do another training for you guys too at any point in time or every year. Um, the only thing we require is that you guys get together at least once a year. I encourage on National Night Out, maybe get with the coalition and do something at the park and do a whole thing out of that. Um, and that keeps you guys active. So if you guys need a new organizer, so say you move away um, and something like that, you guys can determine who the new organizer will be. And all they are is a primary point of contact to specifically get a hold of us and then distribute that tree and then maybe plan a couple of meetings and activities if you guys want to get together. And real quick with that, at, at our One Park Watch in East Holiday Park, one of the most active members lives in Gresham. She does not live near the park. She loves the park. It has a small off do uh, dog leash area. And so if you run into people here, especially with the amazing new play structures, which have to be outside the game a lot. I'm bringing my kids back. I want to play on them. Awesome. <laughs> so let's say you've got a mom and dad that bring their kiddos here and they, they live, you know, they don't live in a neighborhood nearby, but they're here all the time. Mm -hmm. and you strike up a conversation with them, please share. Hey, did you know we have a park watch here? No, what's that? Oh, it's Cali Neighborhood Watch, but it's for our park. And get their contact info and, and join. And all you need to do is get the packet, fill out the questionnaire, um, and get that back to the board manager. Um, and just run into somebody, get them hard, and get them to get into that. Um, but they don't have to live by the park. It's a big, big thing because oftentimes people that are really passionate about their park are people that use it all the time. You feel us if you live on the move, you have to make sure a parking lot is part of that. So they're kind of our sales reps on this program. And we even, um, so East does have the East Parks, is it the East Parks Coalition? Is that what it's called? It's the, huh? Um, yeah, I think it's like a, Casey's, what's it what is it, the East Parks Coalition? Is that what it's called? East Portland Parks Coalition. There we go, East Portland Parks Coalition. So it would be great for even you guys to get kind of know about that and be involved with that a little bit because they work on the whole East Parks brand picture. Um, yeah, like last month we, we uh, our topic, we had several people there to talk about projects that are underway, capital construction projects that are underway in parks or that are scheduled to start in the next six months to a year. Next month we're going to focus on... Yeah, what's up? Hey. Um, and the community center and other kinds of things. So each month we kind of have a topic. Right. People from parks and people from outside of parks. But it's, it's open to anybody who's interested in the parks in East Portland. You might want to have one of 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. They are. At the meeting. About 20 minutes after you called the first time. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Send her over.
appreciate you guys coming out. We do have some more information. We have uh, the information that the officers left you guys. And then I think uh, parking enforcement, our officers have left you guys some good information. And thank you guys for coming out. And um, to our city employees who were able to make it out, I appreciate you guys coming out and kind of supporting everybody. If you guys need business cards and you want communications and connections or more training, please get them from us now. Um, your range is over there talking. <laughs> So you guys can get his business card too if you would like that. And I've got some cards on it as well. I got flashlight and some dark. <laughs> mm. So are you with the Bureau of Emergency Management? No. We are with um, Office of Community and Civic Life Crime Prevention Program. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can do another training, but the meeting, so Anna is so dark, I can't see. <laughs> Um, I think she's over there. She's the organizer for this. So everybody here is in the group and it's free to do as well. And so uh, if you could you fill out the question? So the meeting's over with. I'm gonna close this up.